one thing I love with this channel is when I do a video, invite comments and you all say the same thing. It's great. I did a video at the end of the week, uh, Friday, I think it came out, where I was complaining about the fact I was getting harassed by the quacks. Every time, about this time of year, I get phone calls and texts saying, oh, you're invited to... Uh, and I do the same thing every time. I ignore it. And, you know, I, I did wonder and I did put it out if you ignore it too. If you feel harassed by pe people at your surgeries and everything at the quacks, and subscribe to the channel because you'll be among like-minded people. And it's amazing some of the comments that come out, uh, things that you have to say, and it's going on all over the show. It's unbelievable. And what I wanted to do was just spend a couple of minutes going through some of these with you, uh, so we know what everybody is saying. Now, Ian, I was in the, my doctor's reception when the receptionist looked at my notes on the computer and it said, hmm, I've just read your uh, CovCon medical history. I was there for another medical issue. Needless to say, I was not impressed with the breach of GDPR and breach of medical ethics. Anyone could have overheard it. Go down a bit. <clears throat> it's well reported that MPs parted. They parted as they knew the threat was nowhere near as bad as it made out. I mean, you've got this thing at the moment, haven't you, where you've got all this distraction-like inquiry going on, and it really isn't great. It's all slideshow, and I do wonder what are we distracting from, what's coming down the line. Nothing's going to happen. There'll be a few million quid thrown at this thing, and we'll be back where we started. No one held accountable. Not even Mr. Hancock. Now, the next one. June. I am surprised the NHS has time for this. The invaders usually come before us. Oh, I've got another video coming on that. Don't you worry. Uh, and anti HM, this smacks of the NHS playing God with us all. Now, tell me that we live in a free society. I think not. Keep up the good work, Andy. It's nice to know someone is actually bothering to pass this stuff on to us. You're welcome, and I always do. The only Woody Two Shoes before retiring a few years back, I worked in IT security. My background was in IT before I was a cab driver, actually. We, for many years, had war game scenarios such as what happened. And when it did, pretty much everything we'd uh, set out uh, was carried out to the pre-prepared plan and remained that way for many months as the world evolved. Listen to the inquiry on TV. It appears that similar plans had been gamed out for government. And when it hit, the fan, they threw out their plans and made it up on the spot or agreed with whoever shouted the loudest. In any planning meetings, minimal leadership, too many cooks spoiling the broth, all with their own views and priorities. When a perfectly good plan has been developed over decades, in preparation, that would only have required a few tweaks, at least initially, with the reflection of over a century uh, on how WW1 was led by incompetent leadership, who needlessly sacrificed so many young on the battlefield, it appears we have learned nothing. I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? They say lessons learned. They say uh, we will learn, and we seldom do. It's awful. Uh, scary, fake, <laughs> that's a good one. It was all BS, but I couldn't tell anyone. Many of those who didn't listen are now regretting it. These letters are to push people over the edge, and they have a lot of it to get rid of. You know, I had uh, a conversation with somebody the other day, and my wife had a conversation with somebody as well uh, who was almost surprised that I thought the same way as they did. And, uh, you know, many people are starting to realise what's going on. All right, next one. Dee, 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 dee. There's a lot of conversation there about the same. Then we taught the mind that this is even bigger, brother. Then we taught the mindless minions a lesson for preaching to and battering folk by filling their inboxes to the brim. Give them a taste of their own medicine by putting them under the same pressure of constantly having to clear repeated messages. 
as a hive mind acting together in unison, we can disrupt an entity that resorts to preaching and badgering by response in any kind. Now, if you look at some of those comments that are there, you're all saying exactly the same thing as each other. None of us were fooled, uh, you know, and those of us that were woke up to it in the end. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this video to those comments so you can read through some of them yourself and interact. It's good to get like-minded uh, points of view. And if you are a like-minded person and think the same as the rest of us, by all means, subscribe to the channel, share my stuff everywhere. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again soon.